Hey everyone, it's Maggie, and today I'm going to be telling you my Booktube-a-thon TBR. I have never done this before, but I am so excited to be participating this year, and especially to just really have this happen with like a whole big YouTube community. It's going to be amazing, and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really know how much I will be participating with like the video challenges and such, since I will be out of town and out of service for like the second half of the booktube -a but hopefully during the first half I will be uploading videos telling you guys my progress. Challenge one is to read a book with a person on the cover and for that I will be reading Adaptation by Melinda Lowe. This book I've actually had for a very long time and I got this in my first ever book outlet book haul which is also my first video I ever uploaded on YouTube. You can find it, it's pretty cringy, but I decided that I really should read this. This is a sci-fi novel. Actually a lot of the books I'm going to be reading are sci-fi or fantasy, which is fine because I love sci-fi and fantasy. So on to the next challenge. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book. And for that, I will be reading Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And I bet you guys have heard about this book. There has been so much hype around this. And I got it a while ago in yet another book outlet book haul. And I decided that it's time that I finally read it. Challenge number three is to read a book in a day. And after having my 24 hour readathon, I found that out of the three books, the one that I read the fastest was the first book in the Grisha trilogy. So I will be continuing on with Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This book is actually the thickest book in my TBR. Hopefully I will go through it as quickly as I did Shadow and Bone, which I was just so enthralled. It was so hard for me to put it down. And also this book is just so gorgeous. I'm so happy I have it. I mean, look at the spine. Anyway. I'm really excited to continue reading this series. Challenge number four is to read a book that has a character who is different than you. And for that, I will be reading Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. And this book comes very highly recommended from my older sister. She says that I have to go into this book preparing to have a little heartbreak. Uh, this is also the shortest book in my TBR. I think it's only a little over 200 pages long, but I have also had this on my shelf for a little bit and I'm just really excited to finally crack this open. Challenge number five is to read a book completely outdoors and for no particular reason I decided to choose The Adventure Secret by Andrea Kremer and this book is a sci-fi dystopian I'm pretty sure. Oh, and also has a dragonfly machine thing. So that's kind of outdoorsies, right? Challenge number six is to read a book that you bought just because of its cover. And for that, I have Between the Notes by Sharon Huss Wrote. And this book is actually in my July TBR, so this is going to be very convenient for me to finish this month. This is a cute little contemporary love triangle novel thing, which is always great to read in the summer. And finally, the challenge that will be the hardest to do and probably I will not achieve, but I'm still gonna try, is to finish seven books within seven days. So the seventh book that I have decided to choose is The Merc and Midnight Hour by Jane Nickerson. And this book is a historical fiction which takes place during the Civil War. So I'm anticipating that I'll be really sucked into this and I can't put it down. That's what I'm hoping at least. And like I said, I will not be in town or in my lovely room for this whole week and I will also be nannying for a couple days of this booktube -a <laughs> so I probably won't be able to finish seven books but that won't stop me from trying and I have recently gotten better at reading quickly which has never really happened because I've been reading like more than I think I've ever had in my life I read so many books so far in this month so I think I'm like finally ready for a readathon, like a true readathon, where I'm also being connected with another community. This time it's a booktube community. I've never done this before, so I don't really know what's going on. It's just gonna be a really fun week, and it starts on Monday, I believe. 
And that's all I have for you guys today. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. I come out with a video usually every single Wednesday and Saturday. And if you like this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to put it in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys, and I hope that you have a lovely day.